Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. You guys might remember a while ago I tried every pen I could find in IKEA and you can check out that video right here. And while I was there, I picked up their watercolor and brush set to try, the MOLA, I think that's how you say it. Pretty much all of their art supplies say MOLA on them. Other than the pens, I'm pretty new to all of their art supplies and I've never tried the watercolors or the brushes before and I love IKEA, so I wanted to try them out and see how they perform, what the quality is like, and what they look like on watercolor paper. So before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, Sea Lemon. I upload something new every week and make sure to hit that bell so you can be the first to get notified for when I post new videos. All right, let's get into it. So here is the IKEA MOLA watercolor box, which was $7.99. It comes with 14 colors, two brushes, two water cups, and apparently it's not suitable for zero to three-year-olds. It's nice that IKEA includes instructions with their art supplies, and this just says that they may stain most surfaces and you can clean them up with warm water and soap. And if you end up mixing the colors together, you can clean the tablets with water and then soak up any excess water with a paper towel. You can unlock the sides of the box to remove the top portion, and then you have the box below it, which includes some storage for your paintbrushes and water cups. The paintbrushes included are pretty basic with a wooden handle and there's a large and a small one. And they are kind of small, but I'm sure they're made for smaller kid hands. And I like the variety of colors it comes with, which you don't always find in a basic watercolor set. I also wanted to try out their MOLA paintbrush set, which was $2.99. And the only instructions these came with is save the address of IKEA for future reference. Does anybody know why those are the instructions? This set includes three flat tip brushes and three point tip brushes. And you basically get the same brushes that are included with the watercolors the medium point tip brush and the small point tip brush. All right, to test these out, I'm going to paint in my DIY watercolor book, which you might recognize. I do have a tutorial for this. I really like painting my patterns in this book. If you want to learn how to make this, I'll put the tutorial up right here. You can also find the link in the description below. I filled up both water cups and I'm going to work within the tray that it comes with. Maybe that will be a little bit cleaner than my usual paint setup. And I'm going to paint some art inspired by the patterns on IKEA cushions. I thought this would be fun since it's all about IKEA and I seriously love their design and colors on their products. So here I'm going to paint the pattern that's on this Nedia cushion. I think I said that right. So first impressions, I found that you really have to saturate your brush a lot in the watercolor to get a decent amount of pigment. And I found that the pigment kind of sits on top of the paper, like it doesn't soak in as much as other watercolors, so maybe they're not as water soluble. It's almost like watercolor with a slightly acrylic base. And for the brushes, I have to say I'm kind of impressed with these. None of the bristles are falling out and they seem pretty durable for painting with. I was curious to see how opaque the white is, so I really saturated this flat tip brush, and it's kind of what you would expect with a watercolor white. It's transparent, which is expected, but it doesn't totally blend with the color below it, which I like. This next pattern I'm painting is inspired by this Grenet cushion, I'm pretty sure I said that right, and I thought it would work well with the flat tip brushes. For the navy blue color, I tried mixing two tablets together, and I think these colors actually blend well. I thought it was interesting that the colors in the palette are actually very similar to the colors in their products, so I don't know if it was planned that way, maybe they try to keep all of their products in the same color scheme. And I did appreciate this kit having two water cups, that really comes in handy when you're painting with a lot of colors. So here are my final IKEA inspired patterns, painted with IKEA watercolor and IKEA brushes. These were really simple and fun to paint with their watercolors. Overall, the inexpensive brushes were actually better than I thought they would be. They do stain because the bristles are white, but that was kind of expected. And I like that everything has a place in this box, including extra room for more supplies. 
Although the paint doesn't feel as water soluble as regular watercolor, I do like the variety of colors and the quality is decent. And you'll want to hang on to that plastic lid it comes with to protect and cover the top of your watercolors. I definitely like the convenience of the kit design with the paint and brushes all in one box and this is something I would paint with again. And if you have tried this, I would love to know your experience in the comments below. And also while I was at Ikea, I did pick up their colored pencils which also turn into watercolors. So let me know if you want to see that in another video in the comments below. Also be sure to hit that like button if you like this video. Shout out to all my patrons out there. Thank you for supporting this video and my channel. And if you want to become a patron and join us over there and get some rewards for supporting this channel, go check out my page at patreon.com slash clemon. Also YouTube has something similar where you can become a member and get rewards. If you want to learn more about the details on that, just click the join button on my channel. Whether you become a patron, a member, or just support my channel through watching my videos, I definitely appreciate you guys thank you and if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to my channel I will put that over here and also link to my patreon page right here and then you can check out a playlist up here with more print pattern ideas and tutorials and I'll also put a playlist full of other art supplies and haul kind of videos or testing out art supply kind of videos right here and all of these links will be in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.